I mean, yes and no, because I can't, I can't leave here. Because I can't, <laughs> I can't. Well, this is, this is something to tell the police, not us. This is not, <laughs> it's not for Dear Shandy, it's for the FBI. Welcome back to Dear Shandy, listeners. Hello, Andy. Hello. What day is it? Obviously, Love Fest. <laughs> Obviously. We have a very exciting couple today. Extremely unattractive couple. <laughs> the least attractive couple we've ever had on Dear Shandy. Yeah, very, I'm going to look over here just to avoid <laughs> unsettling my stomach. Yeah, yeah. It's just blinding how mm-hmm. unattractive they are. Yeah. But that's not all they have to offer. We are joined today by Derek and Saffron. Thank you for joining us. I've never been flattered this much before. I, this makes me worried about what what's going to come next. That was like the that's good all. Time. That's all we do on Love Fest, just nonstop <laughs> flattery yeah. and softballs. Don't worry, you're good. Thank you for doing this with us. You guys are newly engaged. Yay! We are. <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> Boom. And the last time we saw you, actually, you were not yet engaged. So congratulations yeah. are in order. Thank you. And, Thank you. Yeah, that was. Yeah. Like a, a week before. Did we inspire you? Did we did we step it up a couple of days or was it in the cards? <laughs> it Don't was in the cards. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, I would you, like to take credit for every part of your relationship. I think <laughs> Well, we will get to that. We you'll, will you'll get, get to get that. plenty of credit, yeah. Plenty think, of credit is coming. <laughs> Credit's coming. I think I'm such an analyzer. I mean, and I think her too, but um I like I will constantly ask questions that help validate anything in my life. Yeah, I mean, any, you guys obviously have known you for a while and and respect you both. So any sort of um, validation that I've ever received or or any other advice, I guess, is always um, heavier than than maybe some, some other, you know, quote friends. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. So you've oh, repaid not, our compliments with, with more compliments. I like being a not quote <laughs> no, I, so, I think I, they, they, they mean something. No, oh, that's actually yeah, very We feel the same. All right. I swear we're going to start. Um, so today is all about the two of you. Our Love Fest episodes are just a celebration of love. <laughs> and so you guys get to talk nonstop and in unabashed detail about your relationship and what makes you guys work because we want to get deep Mm -hmm. we feel that you know with people too often (laughs) no not that deep not that deep okay (laughs) we feel that people too often sort of skim over the specificity of why they work and so that's what we hope to do today with the two of you but we're going to start nice and easy (laughs) it's so funny doing this with the two of you (laughs) (laughs) all right so we'll start nice and easy with how the two of you met Okay. I think you should start. Okay. So um, I was going for dinner with my girlfriends and we didn't book a table. So we were standing outside and then we gave our number in and they said they would text us when um, our table was ready. And then I saw Del walk down and then I was like looking at him and I said to my friend, "Um, that's my future husband. And my friend turned around and was like, okay, I need to see who this is. Da, da, da. Turns around and it's Derek. So then she turns around to me and goes, oh, so that's Derek Paith off The Bachelor. Da, 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 da. And I'm going, oh, I'm not sure if I want to go down like the reality star route. I'm not really sure. <laughs> no, but anyway. <laughs> during, <laughs> during this time, I was probably texting uh, excuses to you guys as to why I was late to dinner. <laughs> Yeah, we'll fill in this side of the story. Yeah. We were <laughs> we'll get we'll get there. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, would we? Yeah, we can fill that. Well, in, it's just that Derek was our third wheel for dinner mm-hmm. at a restaurant in the East Village, and he was insanely late. <laughs> it was definitely over fifteen minutes. Uh, oh, oh yeah. we were like in half hour territory. Oh, yeah. Derek. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it all worked out because the timing of it, like if yeah, who knows if she. Well. Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah, well, there's it, something very serendipitous. About yeah, it. and and the, the restaurant choice was ours. They were, yeah. or it was, yeah, it was. Yeah, I'm, oh, I'm, just, I'm, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> thank you. This is my thank you response, right? <laughs> I thought, but we call it's funny because we've called these like we have so many weird, uh, like tipping point moments. So much almost for for both of us from that night and in the future as well. And so we've called them Easter eggs. Our Easter eggs. Oh, oh my God, like that's so cute. Because they're not necessarily where you expect to find them, but they're just so exciting. Exactly, yeah. Huh? Saf, you're not done yet. 
we were going to go to another bar and then instead we decided oh no we did go to the other bar and then we got the text like immediately saying your table's ready so we went back into the restaurant and then I'm like looking around for him um sorry um <laughs> I was like looking around for um for Dell in the bar and I couldn't find him anywhere so I was like okay like whatever it's probably it's gone whatever anyway so we sat on the table and I'm saying to my friend I'm like oh he's gone I, I'll never see him again da, da, da. and then he was literally like in my view on the table so he was on the next table I mean you guys know but he was on the next table <laughs> to me and I could literally see him straight away okay so we spent the whole night like looking at each other and then my friends were like oh you should send him shots and I'm like absolutely not I'm not going to make the first move I'm not going to do that. And my friends go, no, no, you should really do it. And I think the waiter did bring shots to you guys. Yeah, they accidentally. Remember something. those picklebacks? Yes. Those were yeah. those were to them. Yeah. They were accidental. <laughs> and oh, so then, so then they were like, back. so then she was freaking out. No, we didn't take them, but they like offer them to us. And so then she was freaking out because they like brought them over to us. And it was like a complete accident because oh, no. I said I don't want to send drinks and the waiter did it by, did it by mistake and then I was freaking out because I was like, oh my God, he's going to think I made a move. And it was all really <laughs> stressful. <laughs> I remember that. And okay, Saf, I think you're also forgetting the part. Didn't you switch seats? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, no, the then Derek went to the loo and then I swapped seats with my friend so I could be closer to him thinking he was going to make a move if I was closer. <laughs> but then Dell just came back, sat there, didn't do anything. We just <laughs> spent the entire night looking at each other, but no move was made. And then I think you all left. And then you were like hovering around the table. And then my friend's going, you say something. And I'm going, I'm absolutely not saying anything. He needs to make the move. And then you guys just and left. I didn't. <laughs> yeah. And then okay. you guys just left. And then I just got really strong, <laughs> strong game there. Derek. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so manly. Just the spider, <laughs> spider's web technique. Yeah. Just come to the web. Listen, yeah. You know what? I I had a feeling that I would see her again somehow. Oh, that's Me cute. too. We actually we saw... We had a whole conversation about Saf. Yeah. Yeah, we had a yeah, whole... So, so we, I'll, tell, I'll tell my okay, tell side. Because yeah, I, yeah. I think ours kind of like... Right. It's the same perspective, basically. Mm -hmm. um, so I did not notice anyone because, again, I was probably on my phone looking down when <laughs> I was walking past outside. And then um, uh, I, I do remember I don't remember them sitting down, but I do remember us starting to talk and discuss whether she was a model or not. As that was our <laughs> first statement it was like assessing. <laughs> oh, it wasn't even it was like definitely a model. Oh, yeah. yeah. We all knew. We weren't like, oh, she's like a commercial model. She's like a model. <laughs> like, right. Like, oh, you, we're assessing how model right. She's you not were. trying to be a model. Oh, yeah. She's, she's absolutely fully entrenched in model. Like, actually, I remember you model. saying that, Andy, because that was your point yeah. then, too. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and I was, I think, trying to like be, be like, oh, I don't know, because I, you know, had uh, bad, uh, I don't know if it's a bit bad experiences, but like, lower expectations for a model. So I think I was trying to be like, oh no, she's not a model. She, that's that's below her. <laughs> Which doesn't speak to her, by the way. There's a positive, you know, that, that speaks I love to that. her. Guys, guys, any guys listening to this who are like have trouble meeting girls or, yeah. or like groaning. It's like, yeah, I've had a lot of trouble. I've had a lot of trouble dating models. Oh, God. A lot of trouble. <laughs> Yeah, a lot I of just trouble. put my foot right in my mouth right now. No, no, it's, it's a good. I mean, if you ha if you can say that, you're doing all right. Yes, yeah. definitely. Thank you. Okay, so you're eyeing her, and I mean, we talked about her and how stunning yeah. she was, but you but never then, really so told the, us the inner workings of your mind there. Yeah, but we did talk a little bit about whether I should say something because I and I, I Andy of course was like, just do it, and yeah. I. <laughs> Um, because like my inner workings were that if we were like at a bar, then I definitely would have, but like, there's something about the, the fact that they were like in the corner eating with each other that gave me my excuse, which basically it was to say, Oh no, like I don't want to interrupt their dinner or, you know, have it be weird. The truth is that that's just like a, a daunting you, task to, you know, to you know just, to just as an aside, mm -hmm. um, in my experience and just seeing the world, yeah. the best time to talk to a girl is when she's the least vulnerable. And yes, you are interrupting her meal mm. technically, but like anywhere where a woman doesn't expect to be spoken to, and you can, you can tell me if I'm wrong, Seth, 
but anywhere where a woman does not expect or or necessarily think she's going to be spoken to is probably one of the better places to make a smooth yeah. move. Saf, do you agree with that? <laughs> no, I think I, I do agree with that. Yeah. I just think in this situation, it was so obvious that we were looking at each other. Yeah. That it I obviously that wouldn't hard. have been weird if he came to speak to me. I'm lucky that I that we are here today. Let's just say that. I'm extremely lucky. <laughs> it was basically low-hanging fruit that you didn't pick and then just naturally fell off the tree and rolled and hit you in the it foot. Was kind of what it was such dumb luck. It really was. So, so then, um, yeah, so then we got in an Uber all together and I... She had then DM'd me. I don't remember what you just used a different word for it, but it's basically DM because her friends. I think her, your friends like wrote it for you, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> they did. And and oh, uh, yeah, and I screenshotted it and texted it to both of you because I know you guys were in the back of, of the Uber at the time. And um, yeah, because I was excited and I was like, all right. And oh, and then we were all validated because a full conversation was then right. about how she was not just any model, she was a Vogue model. <laughs> That's true. That was and right then, when we knew. <laughs> and then she became referred to as the Vogue model for mm. a little while between, oh. between <laughs> us. <laughs> till... <laughs> now you're a full human. Yeah, now you have a name. <laughs> I was bachelor guy, so look, I think it goes both ways. Right? Yeah, <laughs> Reality, Dad, those TV are on the trash. exact same level. So, <laughs> Saf, you owe that girlfriend big time for recognizing him. Yeah, no, I do. Yeah, she I. was on I top do. of her reality for, TV. Yeah, both of them for recognizing and writing the message for me. I wouldn't have done any of that otherwise. So. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Wait, so yeah, there's a lot of uh, yeah, important supporting characters. You guys really characters. don't deserve to be together. You've been, you've no, just been a complete again, assist eggs. all yeah. around. <laughs> Easter egg. Now I get it. Now I get it. So you guys go on your first date. Thank- oh, wait, wait. Ooh. I want to clear something up, because people are probably confused. You keep calling Derek Dell. Please Thank explain. Oh, yeah. Yes. Basically, Derek isn't really a common name in England, but there was this TV show called Only Fools and Horses, which my parents were like obsessed with. And I mean, the whole it's, of England yeah, it's were obsessed whole thing with. Yeah. And um, it's a really old show, though. It was like, I think, 60s, so, 70s. I don't know. Some, I, don't know. Probably, um, I think it's like 70s. But the guy out of it is called Derek Trotter, and everyone calls him Del Boy. And then, like, naturally, the nickname stuck. So mm. everyone in England, like, all of my friends were just called Derek Del. No one calls oh, wow. him Derek. Or Del Boy. Yeah. Yeah. That's so My funny. Does, isn't it? Didn't you this tell, a, tell the Del Boy Easter egg? Oh, me. oh, okay. Okay, well, this is a little bit embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone looks this up, but oh, I really like the person who Derek is on the show on Only Falls and Horses. And I always said, I want a guy who's like that. But if anyone goes and looks this up, the guy's like 50. <laughs> 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 so I know I want to look it up. <laughs> what's, what's, I don't understand the problem. Uh, yeah, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and I, you know, there's an appeal to an older oh, gentleman. Oh, such an appeal. Yes. The most appeal. Okay, so you guys go on your first date, which mm-hmm. thankfully happens because of your friends. Yeah, it yeah. happened like three days afterwards. Yeah. I was so nervous on the first date that I'd taken like, I had a team of people getting me ready and that's no lie. I had the, the my, my girlfriends and the boyfriends of the girlfriends all going, you should wear this, you should wear this. I had one of them making me cocktails. Well, actually more shots, but whatever it was because <laughs> I was just so nervous and I'd never get nervous on dates, but I had like said, I was giving my future husband. I was telling them all, oh my God, this is my husband. Oh my God. And I'm like freaking out. And then I just drank loads and I turned up to our date wasted. I didn't know, thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> you so, were wasted, but you, you... I had like three or four shots when we got there. Then we started having Cosmos. Yeah. And then Del ordered loads of salmon, uh, no, sushi. Mm-hmm. And then I didn't eat any of it. because I, was like, I just <laughs> ate all of it. And I didn't notice I was starving. Because <laughs> it was basically like the day after us having gone out that, that night before, yeah. I think. And um, so I, I like responded to her and, and started off with trying to, just like meet for coffee or something to, to make it less daunting. And um, we just like kind of cross paths a bit on our timelines that it didn't work out. So then. Um, no, what happened was. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, because we've gone back and. No, no. So he messaged okay. me at like two 
going, oh, do you want to go for coffee at 2.30? No, it was like, And I was like, absolutely not. Like, I, I'm not just going to drop my plans to come and meet you. So I said, let's go for an early dinner instead. Mm. I was like, I'm not changing. Staff, that happened to me once where a guy, even that I think I had gone on a couple of dates with, but we weren't like far enough along where there was that familiarity. And he asked me to go to dinner at seven at, and it was like 6.30 oh, and I had yeah. nothing else going on. And I was like, no. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Do you think I'm That's just wrong. free all the time? <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I want to backtrack slightly. Saf, yeah. you said that the second you saw Derek, you knew he was your future husband. Yes. How? What? Like, I was going to ask the exact same question. Oh, my God. So I, I, was ju- I was about to interrupt you to ask the question oh, that you just asked. We're on the same wavelength. So was it love at first sight is what you're asking? Yeah. Right? For, for me, yeah. Wow. But I don't is know that normal like, for you? No. Because I'm, I'm, I'm going to gas myself up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Has that ever happened ever in your life? Of course not. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm usually low key, a little bit scared of commitment. And I've never really wanted to get married or anything like that. But like when I saw Dell, the first thing I said was he is going to be my husband, which is really bizarre for me, but. Yeah. So wow. you just saw him and you were wow. like, that's, were you like, that's my type? Or like, did he just have an aura? Like, can you try to um, distill it down? I don't, well, he is very much my type, but I don't, I don't know what it was. I just knew. I know that's really, that's so cheesy. No. But it, it is. I didn't know. It is a bit cheesy. It's really <laughs> cheesy. Okay. You're on a podcast where literally the point is to talk about your love story. So there's no such thing. Uh, yeah. The cheesier, the better. Yeah, I mean, yeah, bring it, bring it on. And also you would be our first couple because we do often talk about things like just knowing and um, love at first sight mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. the one and things like that. And yeah. so this is one of the rare instances where, you know, you're engaged now, like you, mm-hmm. you were right. Your feeling was I know. right. <laughs> it actually took me, it actually took me a while um, to, to believe that. Like I, because of, I think a little bit of what you're saying, like, be, because I have, I, I, I mean, I've, I've had some trust issues from, from, you know, my background. And so just like hearing that, I almost felt like she was telling me a line or something to, <laughs> to get me, you know, to a place where like, um, I would be vulnerable, you know? And mm-hmm. I was like, not ready to at all, like trust or believe that or be there. So it did take me a while to realize like, oh no, she's actually being serious. She did feel that way and does like feel that deeply about things. So, um, you know, there's a difference there, but I, I, sim- similar to you, like I, I hadn't, uh, I, like I don't, or your, your, I'm sorry, your other people you've spoken to, I don't know many people that have, have a like love at first sight kind of story um, that, uh, that happens that way. No, so, when Andy saw me, he thought right. I was a bitch. Hideous, hideous. <laughs> um, no, but literally, you I thought know, I you did. thought I was pretty, but I also wasn't your type at all, and so you were objectively, more objectively. I thought you were you're strikingly pretty, but not necessarily my yeah, type. yeah, not your type. Yeah, yeah. Derek, d- when you saw Seth, I mean, obviously she's a very specific type of type. I mean, only like maybe five or six yeah, yeah, guys yeah. on Earth yeah. would find her attractive. Yeah. But, <laughs> Uh, yeah. Did you, when you first laid eyes on her, were you, was there something or was it different oh. or were you just like, that's a very beautiful girl? Yeah, that's definitely what I thought. Um, but again, I think that's from like self-protection, just b- b- not letting people in as quickly mm-hmm. versus um, whether or not like, I, I mean, I had definitely fallen for her very quickly once we like met and talked. But But that first night, like when we were sitting there. I mean, I've absolutely, we kept talking about her for a reason. You know, I was, I was very right, attracted right. to her. But would you say she was your type or? I yeah. would. Just, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she yeah. totally is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Derek likes a sort of like exotic. But what I love about yeah. you, Derek, is that you never are sold on someone until you get to know them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like Saf can be Saf and be the Vogue model. But it wasn't until you actually had your first date where you were like sold, which I think is really sweet. Uh, yeah. I yeah, mean, that's... it's not like you deserve applause, but still I think a lot of guys sort of get <laughs> wrapped up. No, in the he's, he's an actual human being. He, Derek. Derek is an actual human being. And you know what I think? I, I believe that you can see 
And I, I never can put my finger on what it is, but you can see the aura of someone. Like, Derek could be a dick. Oh, yeah. Like, you could see, like, there's another <laughs> Derek somewhere who looks just like you. It's Who's just a like the worst. Total dick, yeah. The worst. Yeah. But, like, whatever it is, when you sit down and someone just lays eyes on you for a few seconds, and, and I felt the same way, you could tell that there's something different. You could tell that mm -hmm. there's a real person behind there. You can tell that you're a good person. It's, it's. I, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I remember the first time he was our third wheel to dinner and he asked us all these questions and had remembered things from the last time we hung out with him. We were like, what is going yeah, I know. on? What's happening? You're not from the Twilight Bachelor Zone. franchise. <laughs> yeah, your guys' bar was very low. <laughs> it really was. Hey, Andy. It's yeah. it's it's ad time. I don't see. I don't. To me, this is not an ad. I I take pleasure in in spreading the word. The word. The bidet word. Yeah, I'm like Johnny Appleseed of of buttholes. <laughs> <laughs> I wait. That, that's not a direct. That's not a good metaphor. Why not? Because Johnny Appleseed planted seeds to grow trees. I'm not putting. Well, you're planting the seed that a bidet is something that everyone should have in their bathroom. Yeah, it's a much more figurative translation. Yeah, but yes, I am the Johnny Appleseed of bidets. And the Hello Tushy bidet has a 3.0 that self-cleans. 3.0. The 3.0 self-cleans, and you can affix it to your existing toilet with no special plumbing. And then you have a bidet. You turn your existing toilet into a fancy Japanese toilet. And and for the germaphobes out there like myself, um, cleaning is super easy because they have the trademarked schmutz shield <laughs> wait that's actually trademarked yeah how wow they trademarked the schmutz shield that really rolls off the tongue doesn't it it's not easy to say the schmutz shield schmutz the shield schmutz, schmutz, schmutz shield the schmutz shield offers extremely easy cleaning and the knobs are naturally antimicrobial so you don't have to worry. I always like every time if I use someone else's toilet, I'm always worried that that knob has been. I mean, that knob is just a disaster. This so has your name all over it. Oh, completely. Andy doesn't touch anything outside about this house anymore. No. And I think that it's it's another just like the bidet itself. Another obvious thing to do is to make all the knobs on a toilet antimicrobial. Yeah. Duh. We, it makes complete sense. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, these guys are, they're way ahead of their time. They really Shmo are. <laughs> if you would like the Hello Tushy bidet in your life, go to hellotushy.com slash shandy to get 10% off plus free shipping. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is a special offer for our listeners. <laughs> this is, you finally are, uh, are getting something out of this podcast. <laughs> go to hellotushy.com slash shandy for 10% off. That is hellotushy.com slash shandy. <laughs> okay, enough about us. Okay, so you go on your first date. What are your first yeah. impressions of each other's, you know, you're attracted to each other. We know that. And you had uh -huh. the unique sort of story with how you met. But first impressions and how maybe those have changed since. Well, again, like I was very, I think, protective in a, when I... I, I, that was when I found out how old she was and, <laughs> and that she, you know, like we, we talked about a little bit, my, um, um, not necessarily loving the fact that she was actually a, a, a model or had been some preconceived notions that I had about her because of that. And in both cases, she didn't like, you know, she was, she was just kind of quiet and just said her, her piece about it. You know, she did make a few jokes about being 19 later, which, um, I, I kept looking at her ID. I was like, I, <laughs> here I'm already concerned about, you know, her being 23 now. And, and <laughs> I was like, That's no. That's pretty funny, actually. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I, I mean, those those two things are kind of like back to what you were saying, Charlene, not necessarily about her. And so once we started talking, our flow was just so supernatural. And um, that's just not like... It, to an uncommon degree, you know, obviously there's people you meet and can, can talk with, but I think, um, it just like, we ended up spending, what was it like eight hours together mm -hmm. or something like that? Cause we went to a couple of other places then after, after dinner, we just like didn't want to stop seeing each other. So I think like in the first date, you know, that's obviously a super important sign. It wasn't like, okay, let's just get out of here or, um, or even like, I'll see you next time. That was interesting. No, like I did not want to stop spending time with her. So 
Well, that's oh, interesting. Those are the best dates. Because it's... The ones like, where you just keep like making reasons to do more things. That's you just the thing. Don't want it's it like, you yeah. know, it's right. Because even sometimes like I've been with, you know, on dates with girls where I'm like, I really like this girl and I'm having fun, but I want it to end. I want to move on. I want to go home and like look back <laughs> on it and move on to the next date. Really? But not in a bad way. Like I'm like, oh, this sucks. I'm just like, I want to put a book into this. And for me, I feel like it's usually all like in one direction or the other. Either I'm oh, having okay. the best time, like time is flying and I want to hold on to that time or it's going by so slow and it's like oh, an hour long date okay. is just an eternity. <laughs> but but those what I'm saying is those are very rare. Yes. It's very rare mm-hmm. that you just want to keep it going and going and going and not not because you're trying to like bed someone just because you actually are yeah. enjoying their company. Bed exactly. someone. <laughs> Is that an old fashioned term? <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is kind of. I did. I said it in a way that I knew it was old fashioned. Well, did you? But know? I didn't realize did it was you? that old fashioned that even people wouldn't get that it was an old fashioned. We just watched song. "It's a Wonderful Life" last night. I wonder if they would have used oh, that in that. I love that. Oh, yes, totally. they would have. <laughs> oh, Jimmy, uh, Jimmy Stewart, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He would have used that. Okay, Saf, yeah. your point of view. You hey. go on this first date. Oh wait, Derek, did you answer that question? First impressions. Delta, and how those yeah. might have changed. Did you say yeah. how they've changed at all? Oh, how they changed. Um, I think it changed pretty quickly because I just could, because I was apprehensive at first. Derek had no expectations. Yeah, I did have no of our dates, which he has told me. But. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, but then, I mean, like right away, I, I, again, yeah. I wanted to spend the rest of the night with her. So <laughs> I, I think it's actually kind of like what you were talking about, Andy, with um, someone's aura. And even though I had been in her aura before when we were just both, both focused on each other, I just, you know, I just knew that I wanted to, to uh, keep spending more time with her. Okay. Saf, your turn. What are your first Um, impressions of Derek on the date? So not just seeing him, you spend all these hours together. What, what do you think of him? And then if, if those have changed, which maybe they haven't. No, they never changed. It's so weird, but I just knew (laughs) <laughs> I don't know. It is a boring answer, but she's right. Yeah, I just always knew that I was so in love with him from like the first date. She's been so, so consistent. It's I, I know it's so weird, but yeah. and I'm not usually like this. I don't usually fall this quickly, but yeah. So was there not one moment where you're like, okay, you had this obviously very rose colored glasses impression of Derek before yeah. you met him. Was there never a moment during that first date where you're like, oh, well, I got to deal with this, but everything else is great. Not one thing. No. Because I wow. asked if. No. It's incredible. Mm-hmm. No, that was it. But our oh. second date was actually funny because mm-hmm. so me and my friend, we live um, like a block away from each other. So I was around my friend's house with the same team that got me ready for the first date, like three days later. <laughs> it's always it's like a, a ra- it's like a NASCAR. It's like a NASCAR. I picture them like replacing the tires. Like- oh, I'm picturing like a rom com like montage. Montage, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's like it. they're trying yeah, on different outfits so in front of the mirror. <laughs> it pretty much is it. Yeah, yeah that's what it was. Um, but we we were just hanging out. I looked like a tramp. Like wasn't <laughs> expecting to go out or anything. So then. I get this text from Dell going, oh, what are you doing? Like, I really want you to come and meet my friends. So I was like, oh, like, I don't know. And then I'm, te- I'm like talking to my girls and I'm like, oh, I don't know what to do. Should I go and see him? They're going, yeah, definitely go. And then Dell's like, oh, there's only going to be two friends. It's completely fine. But Dell had walked up. Because where were Which, you before? We'd been, um, so it was Wells that was in town and he's not normally in town and so, since I had, and ben. so quickly for her yeah i know yeah but ben ben came and met us there but um so i really wanted you know to get wells like opinion basically and um so we'd walked like i i ended up pushing him <laughs> i don't think if I, i've actually even told him this but i ended up being like why don't we just keep going up a little bit because i kind of knew where her apartment was and i wanted to make it easier so she could just like pop out around the corner to come and and, and meet us um, so yeah, I had, uh, I'd probably made us walk like tw- a good 12 to 15 blocks to make sure that we were where <laughs> I felt like was close enough. Yeah. Cause you were two blocks away, one block away. Yeah. It ended up being yeah. Close, yeah. So I had no excuse. So I had my team get ready again. <laughs> but then that's, that's very then cool. I had one of my friends like walk her dog past the restaurant 
so that they could, so that she could see where they were sitting. So when I went in, it wouldn't be embarrassing. Like I was looking around. <laughs> that was I had never. Around. By the way, have you guys heard of that before? <laughs> she was like, I didn't want to. I would, didn't want to walk in and look around. I wanted to be like confident <laughs> and walk straight over. <laughs> no, I've never done that. It's incredible. She's got yeah. like a whole company behind her. Yeah. 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 What I've support. got friends. Great support. <laughs> wow. You really do. Okay. So now fast forward, you are engaged. You, you obviously are compatible, yeah. but could you get specific about how you compliment each other? Um, we did go and like do, we, we've done a few things, right? So we've done like our, um, five love languages tests and stuff, but we had each separately before done the Myers Briggs, right? That's the 16 personalities. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And we actually have, we're, we're like very uh, different degrees, but like the same um, personality type, which I think it, it's, it sounds like that would be like a clash, but what it actually means is like both of us are very open-minded about when we talk about things generally. We like I will talk about any subject and make an opinion on it, <laughs> but not like with a hardcore like feeling as if uh, anybody that disagrees with me is wrong. I think we mm -hmm. both just like talk about things in general. Yeah. And because of that, that's also a part of the reason why like that first night and honestly for forever after we can sit and why like COVID has been well g gone like well for us versus the the opposite which could have gone very bad mm -hmm. but we can and could just like sit around and constantly talk about what's going on in the world and like within our lives and tell each other like stories and background things and I think it's just always been like very easy for us to to talk which is something that's important to both so important yeah it sounds I, like you're just simply extremely compatible yeah yeah. Like, like I know that sounds really basic, but I... No, but COVID is the great equalizer in yes. relationships. I feel like if you can make it through COVID, and not just make it through, but actually be fine, you're really yeah. good. And COVID will destroy a bad relationship real fast, because you just got to be with each other. In a way, do you think it's possible COVID did help you guys, or did fast forward things, mm -hmm. or did well, affect the you development of your I... relationship at all? What were you going to say? No, I would like you to use COVID and, a, and the word blessing in the same sentence. <laughs> in these unprecedented times. You have to get that word the in there too. The okay. silver lining is that me and Sam <laughs> yeah. are doing amazingly well. Uh, I mean, I, I think it accelerated things a ton. But again, like she had always felt a certain yeah. way. So I think we probably differ on that. I don't think it did good or bad. I just think I, just think I didn't plan on moving in. Yeah. We moved in with each other well, like, so sooner than you had, a month after we'd been mm -hmm. on these dates. So because we have basically been, I mean, you think about what she does. She travels. She's like internationally traveling all over the place. She was like in Norway and the UK yeah. and Mexico, and um, so our first like few, I mean, months basically, we're actually mostly yeah. on FaceTime and just like seeing each other here and there, which was great, and we were talking a lot, but there's a big difference between that and then having to, you know, we, we really did jump into just moving in, right? As everybody started like lockdown slash quarantining. No we judgment, were, by the way, on that front, because Andy and I, when we tell people how quickly we moved in, people are pretty shocked, but yeah. there were- I forget, how quick was it? Like we, I moved in to this apartment two and a half weeks was after we met. <laughs> but, you know, on paper, that sounds nuts, but- you know, like I can see how the COVID thing can cause like events, like you moving in together sooner than you might otherwise have. Mm -hmm. And then it just sort of accelerates things. But yeah. I personally think it was always going to happen anyway. It just happened a little faster. Yeah. 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 That's how I think of it anyway. It was like inevitable anyway. So, Saf, how would you say you guys compliment each other? I think with me, I don't even know if this answers the question, but this is what's coming to my head. But I, I have such like a hectic schedule usually like pre-COVID. And I'm never really in the same place for like more than a week or maybe even less than that. And I think with Derek having like stability, I think I needed oh, that. Does that answer the question? I don't know. Oh, it totally does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel that way about us too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like in both in terms of lifestyle and personality, mm -hmm. there's something grounding about it. I'd agree yeah. with you both. I think both apply yeah. to us too. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you want to um, ask it? Do you yeah. want to ask Andy? Sure. <laughs> okay. 
I can do this. <laughs> so, um, in the in the early stages of your relationship, were there any issues? Where there's was there an early hurdle you had to overcome? I guess you jump a hurdle. So, was there a hurdle you had to jump, <laughs> leap over? <laughs> clear. Te- technically, actually, <laughs> clear. Yes. Yeah. I, I was a hurdler once upon a time. Oh and my God, coach, that's right. And I think our I coach know that. <laughs> I did not know that. <laughs> yeah, you and Nick File were a track. That's right. Track yeah, exactly. Stars. Yeah. But you do hurdle a hurdle. You don't jump a hurdle. That's there. The track. You hurdle. So you oh, hurdle yeah. a hurdle. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's yeah. a verb. Mm-hmm. It is. Hurdling so is, if you, hurdling so in other words, if, so you can hurdle a hurdle and hit a hurdle, or you can clear a hurdle. So those are yes. the two options. Yes, but yes. you are hurdling when you go yes. over a hurdle. Okay, an early hurdle in your relationship, if there was one. Um, okay, so I'm going to own up to this one. Yeah. Which, <laughs> um, so Saf's birthday was early in. Oh. It was like first week of April. Yeah. And I was just going to say a different one. Oh, well, no, it's okay, you go. I didn't know there were so Sorry. many hurdles. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, I, so I think, <laughs> I think um, I had, ex- I, I, I don't, I'm not a big birthday person. So like personally, my expectations for anybody else or even like what I want are next to nothing. Like, I don't like the added attention. I don't want to like have a party or, or, right. or whatever. We're the same way. It's totally the yeah. same. Both and every, and everybody's very different with this. Right. But like my family is also very like anti gift, not anti gift, but we just, we don't, it doesn't matter or mean all that much to us. So this is where a- afterwards we got into the five love languages stuff to learn more about each other. So I failed extremely miserably at something that was like important to her, but not in any sort of like needing to make a massive effort way. But like I learned how important cards are to her life um, and other little like simple acts that would have um, made it like more special or in some way like a bigger day. And we had talked about it and she was kind of like, no, I don't think I want to do anything because I don't want to like But bother. as most girls do, most girls say, oh, they don't want to do anything. Oh, yeah, yeah. I learned that. That means they, they, they want like a Mercedes. <laughs> yeah. I love this one, by the way. Yeah. And I, I'm kind of amazed no one else has touched on this. Yeah. But Derek, you're making such a good point. Such a good point. Because this is, I feel like something you have to learn about each mm-hmm. other. Mm-hmm. Like even cards. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not going to still remain nameless. But I did have an ex-girlfriend who would literally critique my cards. Be like, uh, no, it's oh, not no. good. That's not how no, she. No, I'm not that bad. No, she's no. not like that. No, right. I did. It's so the then, thought that counts. It's yeah, thought. I just but, like a little message, and then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, it and I know lots of people friend. that are into cards. Like yeah. that's not uncommon, yeah. and there is a sort of like mutual learning sure. about that of like what you expect on a special occasion day, even if like Derek and like us, <laughs> you're not a big birthday person, mm-hmm. but nonetheless. Like if my birthday came and went and you just said happy birthday, I'd be like, excuse me. <laughs> yeah. I literally have to go. I, I have to go through the, 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 the whole process of buying her a gift that she hates. And then I've done my job. <laughs> that's all. I just have to get her a gift that she has no interest in. Yeah. And that's the end of it. It's not totally I true. Went buy, I, I, got, sometimes. I got flowers a few days early, but then... That was all I did. And so yeah. it was not, it was not okay. Four, four months after that, basically, it was two months after that, I guess, when our, our four month anniversary was, which we had fun and called it our four year because we like, we just couldn't celebrate anything. <laughs> and we were like, just in, still locked down. And so I did go get her four cards, one for each month and four little bouquets of flowers not like crazy oh Oh, that's cute oh that's That's very cute cute. so i made up for it in since then i think i hope so yes (laughs) okay Uh, no i want to know what that hurdle saf was thinking oh yeah that's right Uh oh we had this really weird thing with this key so like derek like (laughs) Right, so I'm thinking that this relationship's oh, no. going really well. I've just moved in, like everything's hunky dory. And then Del like gives me these keys and he goes, Oh, this is your set of keys. Like use them whenever you like. Because when I say we moved in with each other, I've still got my apartment because I'd only just moved to New York, but I just moved into his apartment just mm-hmm. for COVID. Because it was safer, like not Yeah, so we're not traveling around yeah. all the time. Sure. But then mm-hmm. Del gave me these keys and was like, Oh, 
oh, just use them like as whatever. So I'm thinking, oh, this is like the next step in our relationship. Oh my so goodness. did I. And then Joe like freaked out <laughs> for three days after it. So I just left the keys on the rack and just went along my business. <laughs> Wait, yeah. what? I, I don't understand. I don't understand happened. either. I need I, to retell I just got it. very edgy yeah. and like, and we tied it back to, in an argument, she tied it back to, and I re- realized that it was because I had like given her these keys, and um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I just had yeah, kind of weirdly like, freaked was, out about it. Was one of the keys like to your porn stash or something? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on with that? I, I feel like we haven't had a single episode where you don't reference porn. <laughs> uh, 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 porn is very per- we did, we had we had an episode society. about money with a finance expert, and he still managed to get porn. In there. <laughs> yeah. It's his Easter egg. At least it's, it's my Easter, Easter egg. egg. Nice, the recurring nice, nice callback. I mean, uh, just personally, I've there have been many issues with me and keys. With a girlfriend. Really? Like, it's been a major, like, giving, getting a key made for a girlfriend, that's like, whew, that's, that's almost yeah, huge. proposing. That's almost proposing. So, um, Derek had given me these keys, like, what, like two weeks after these we- These keys? Sorry, the keys to his apartment. <laughs> like, Not two just weeks. any keys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, keys to the kingdom. Okay. <laughs> and the porn but stash. But two yeah. weeks, like, after we were already living with each other- so then I'm using the keys, going about my business, whatever. And then, like, for the next three days, Dell was just freaking out about me having these keys. Like, he thought we were rushing the relationship. Then he started going, oh, but we're friends. And I was like, what? I was yeah. like, you've asked me to be your girlfriend. And then it was all weird. But, like, we weren't even – it wasn't like – we were arguing about it. He was just panicking. And then I was like, do you know what? I can't even deal with the panicking. So I just put the keys back. And I was like, I don't want the keys anymore. Cause I went panicking. And I, yeah. I went and I flew yeah. in a fully opposite direction where I went, uh, Oh, well maybe we're so close and this is just going to end up being a friendship. I'm worried that it's going to be that. Like I just started worrying about things and I was really confident beforehand and it didn't hit me until after I guess I gave them gave them to her. Yeah. And then wow. it like none of it made any sense after something snapped when she put them back there and was just like, fine then, you know, adamant about it, um, making a point. Like it just it all snapped back into place. But I don't know, for some weird reason. Have you ever given a girl all those keys before? All those keys. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, including the porn key. Right? Wait, no, I haven't. So there you oh. go. So it was like a big deal for you. That yeah. was basically what the way I see it is you were uh, making oh, sh- the giving of the keys equivalent to no. getting married. Oh, that's really weird. Yeah. It's yeah. really interesting. I didn't make so sure you were like, if I that. give you my keys in your mind, you're like, this is it. Like, I'm I'm done. I'm on, I'm on the that's past. Gotta, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's what happens when you come on Dear Shandy. We that's give right. you these it's, epiphanies it's, about it's your own. It's all out there. <laughs> I didn't know. No, but that's that. interesting. There has got to be. There's yeah, Derek associated that. giving of the keys to like, this is it. I'm done. Like, he's not giving the keys just as like, oh, I'm going to give you the keys, but then we're going to break up and you're going to give me the keys back. It was over. There is something kind was of wrong? official about the keys. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, we, was I wrong? <laughs> we, we have endorsed this relationship before it started. So, <laughs> so we're and on so, your side. So sure. you, have you experienced that with keys and girlfriend? Like, have you ever gotten pressure to be... To give I've keys. gotten pressure to give keys and I have resisted. And I've also gotten pressure to give keys and I've given, but never felt great about it. Well, surely you felt okay with it. About I was it. okay with it, but I was always like, this is something I'm going to have to get back at some point. And now this gives like context for how it was when you gave me that key. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because you were like, <laughs> you were a little weird about it. I also gave you a mail key. No, oh, wow. I had to, I, I, oh, she I, had to wait a, like two years. I, for the it mail took key. a few months to get the mail. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> All I'm saying is that even though we were so sure and some, you were like fine with me moving in, it was you were the one that offered it. You were spearheading all these oh, decisions. Yeah, I wanted you to have but keys. then something about like the actual key was like. <laughs> <laughs> the giving of the keys is a big deal. Yeah. It's a big deal for, for a guy, especially. I, I don't know if. That's well, I guess it's a big standard, deal for who, whoever's, whomever's apartment it is. Correct. You guys are touching on some neat topics that yeah, I feel keys like keys is a big those are good, deal. Those were good. I, we're going to get a lot of emails okay. about people like about keys. <laughs> we're going to segue from hurdles into fighting. This is Andy's favorite topic. My favorite. 
because we think it's so interesting how couples fight and more importantly, how they resolve that conflict. Conflict. So mm. how do you guys deal with conflict? How do you do it? I think, I think we I, better than any relationship I've had. Mm. I think it goes back to the talking thing. Cause we, yeah, we just, but we do normally stop problems before they, yeah, that's what I mean. Before they arise. Yeah. We don't like let it bubble, bubble, bubble. So do you ever get into like screaming fights or is it, is it just squashed before that happens? No, sometimes, but not like, that's not, that's not a common thing. It's almost Mm -hmm. always. Yeah. I think more than anything, and she'll probably, she probably would disagree with me on this, but I think it's almost, it's like, uh, well, okay. So we're both, we both have very dry humor. And so I, I view it, I like categorize it as more like guilt almost where we have like a common little small thing that we'll bring up and be like, Oh, well, it's not like, you know, so like, like earlier she was, she was making something and I made a big deal over us not getting a garlic press one day, which it was like $3 at the store. But I was like, no, we don't need that. How ridiculous is this though? You wouldn't let me buy a garlic press. For that, $3. That's, that's he was like, you wording. can cut it up. And I was like, I don't want to no. do that. Have you ever <laughs> cut, cut up garlic? Cut it. Oh, yeah, have you I ever so cut totally it? <laughs> it takes me literally half an hour to cut up one clove. I, I need no. to T.O. on this story because, Saf, was this at Dollar Tree? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we were, were at Dollar, at Dollar Tree. Day. Del has seen the wrapping paper, so it's all fine. Yeah. Okay. Because I was texting so, Charlene about the wrapping paper. Oh, you yeah. were. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I can relate to that. C- cutting garlic is not fun. No, you need a garlic press. Thank you. We don't you. have a garlic press. <laughs> oh, we don't? I just hate- <laughs> you don't need I just a garlic press. It, I thought you don't it was need a one. frivolous expense. Good wow. on you, Seth. Three Wait, did you get? Under Wait, okay, no. It might be a garlic press. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing, right? You guys That's are funny. touching on so many yeah. interesting little, like, isms. You know what I mean? Like they're like yeah. these little things. A lot of good stuff coming up here. Yeah, yeah. Like bubbling up out of the tar pit. Did you uh do you ever go to sleep angry? No, I don't like doing that. Yeah, she is very yeah. she uh, and and I have always tried not to. But she mm. is very much will come to me and just like I won't up. apologize. But she, I'll, she just comes I'll and, be near him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and just like looking I at me. <laughs> like, can we get along, please? <laughs> and uh, we so will think, get along. <laughs> probably one. So you'll be near him and you won't apologize. But who's the first to enter that realm of like, let's make up? I'm curious. Mm. I, I think her. It, de- it depends what time of night I think it is. Oh, yeah. But you know what? I, I also. I think I think we're both pretty good about if we know we were in the wrong and and maybe this goes back to just like natural conversation and naturally getting each other that neither of us I think need feel the need to apologize sometimes but we also like one or the other will be the first to kind of come and make recompense in some way, just in a lot of times, that's just like being near each other and <laughs> maybe not apologizing, but that we don't also need it on the other side. Does that make sense? Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, it's like the, what's the Barbara Streisand movie? Was it Love Story? What happens? True, with- true love means you never have to say I'm sorry, right? Isn't oh, that really? Oh, really? From there the we go. Yeah. Hey. Don't you dare use that. <laughs> <laughs> <Be sure. laughs> also, good word, Derek, recompense. Yeah, whoa. That's a shandy no first. bachelor alum should be able to yeah, say yeah, that. Yeah. That's that's You're I don't even know if I used watch it yourself. Right. <laughs> oh, um, my, my, my last question on that topic is when you get into the worst fights that you've gotten into, which obviously aren't that terrible, do either of you ever think and like go to this dark fantasy where you're like, I'm that I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Done. <laughs> Just for a minute. Uh okay, I'll say it. I mean yeah. <laughs> I mean, yes, I know because I can't, I can't leave here because I can't, <laughs> I can't. Well, this is, this is something to tell the police, not us. This is not, <laughs> it's not for Jerry Shannon. It's for the FBI. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. Not, <laughs> if only. Not, not, not appropriate conversation. So, so 
<laughs> so okay, aside from the fact that you're you're being held hostage in Derek's <laughs> house, it's, it's blink twice if <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sav has been Sav has yeah. been doing Morse code with her hand the whole time the whole conversation. <laughs> Yes, this is the most convoluted hostage release situation. So, so, but you do, aside from that fact, you do go to that dark place, like for a moment. I'm stubborn, so I'll be like, um, I'm out, bye. Right, and, but, right. and I'm also stubborn, yeah. so I've gone, fine. And you, because you are the one that's the first to say that. I would say that something. I'm fine. Yeah. Yeah. And then you're like, no. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's only okay if I do it. But if Derek comes out, I'm like, wait. <laughs> yeah. How soon after do you are you able to laugh about it, or do you just sort of move oh, on straight away? Yeah, pretty. Yeah. Cool, pretty much. Oh, that's, that's cute. Yeah. Within, that was the right answer. <laughs> yeah. I find in bad relationships what what I what I have experienced is that you have all these like negative you have like a bank of negative feelings or complaints yes. and they keep piling up. Like five, so when you get into a fight, you just empty it out. You're like, and this is a problem, and this I hate about <laughs> yeah. you, and this you did, and you left this under the couch, and blah. <laughs> just never ends. So okay, that's good. Okay, moving on. We'll move on to lighter topics now. This is a really frequent question that we get asked, knowing with a capital K. Do you guys believe in just knowing? I mean, I, Saf, I feel like you do, but do you believe in the one in mm. in that moment? If there was an aha moment, what was it? That kind of thing. I think I was just sure. Mm. that, But that has never happened to me before, and I don't think it happens always. I don't know if I believe in the one or... I think, I think, it, I think you have to work on your relationship. No but I what, think yeah. I was just very lucky to find the guy for me. Um, like it to, to trust, like took me a little bit longer in general, but then also w whether like I knew that I was f absolutely in love with Saffron was, um, man, it's weird to say your whole name like that. Yeah. That was I never weird. call you Saffron. <laughs> I always call you Saff. Um, was mm -hmm. when I had to move out of New York. So we like made a la very last minute decision to, to come back, to drive back and, um, and just like, pack everything up and move within a couple of days. And there was a bunch of stress with like n not being able to take some days off work and like needing to, to still do some of that, but then also like pack the entire apartment up. And I know like that it's a big, in addition to us moving in together, like it was a big definer for me of knowing how she'll handle like stress forever, you know? Mm -hmm. And so seeing how just like she jumped on and she just without a question, it probably did more packing than I even did for my apartment, you know? And, and she just like saw it as like, no, this is just something we're doing together. Um, Team. Yeah. Team. Yeah, ex exactly. Yeah. And so that was like it for me. I knew that um, I didn't like, I didn't, to me, I didn't have anything to worry about anymore. Cause it was like, okay, I know moving is one of the biggest things that you can do in life. Yeah. And so I just know like that if things get hard or if there's any big things, that she'll be like somewhat stoic at least, or just like get to business and, and take care of it. Um, yeah. That's a really good one. Yeah. It's very, right. very pragmatic. But once as a man, sometimes once you've gotten over, like I super attract to this girl, I find her really fun. She's interesting. Like you want to know that she's actually going to be part of the team. Yeah, no, I can see that. And I mean, just the sort of handling of stress all around. I think that applies to both genders because mm -hmm. some people are, like level-headed and cool and then suddenly like under the gun like that like the situation you're describing mm -hmm. Derek like moving is not fun Ugh, horrible no it's <laughs> like, horrible no one, it's horrible and you can do it and still suck while doing mm -hmm. it yeah you know what yeah. i mean so like to be able to do that and and be a team player and yeah. and to show hurdle up. to hurdle moving <laughs> as a couple <laughs> Is a big step in the right direction. <laughs> it was. <laughs> okay, so I have a question that's specific to the two of you, because obviously, Saf, you are from the UK. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Were there any cultural differences that you guys had to overcome? They could be serious or funny. No. But okay. I would, but I would say, not really cultural differences, but like. We have a lot more sayings in London mm -hmm. than I think I even realized. So like even going back to arguing, me and Del will be arguing and I'll say things and then he'll stop the argument and be like, I don't even know what that means. 
And then we'll have to, oh. I'll have to explain it and then we'll have to start it up again. And then by First this point, all, there's a moving thing. Do you guys have the best words for all that stuff? Yeah, I've, I've dated I've dated girls from the UK who I didn't even like, but the words <laughs> they they the bad words and the fighting words they used, mm-hmm. I was like, I'm I'm still in. I'm going for another few weeks. They're so good. <laughs> They're so good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I that's almost like a hack because it sort of eases the tension. It does ease the tension. Yeah. 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 It does. Well, I would say that's the only thing. Would you say? Yeah, because I think like our even though I think we've ended up like because of the the way that we've been forced to, and I don't mean that in a negative way, but just the you know case, the course of things. <laughs> watch watch so what you say, <laughs> Derek. <laughs> yeah, yeah, watch so listening. many. I know, right? <laughs> watch so many different um, shows and movies, and like share some of that with each other because I think that could have very easily been um, like like set a whole bunch of, of barriers that in the end, you know if there was something that we were like, oh, well, I don't really know that reference. We've been able to just like show each other and then talk about it and then use it. And so um, like my family has laughed about me even using some of her language and <laughs> phrases now because I've just like adapted it. Okay. Any beliefs about relationships that have changed now that you found each other? Well, I didn't believe in the love at first sight, but apparently it does happen. Not from me, but... <laughs> <laughs> From this wanker over here. <laughs> Any others? Funny. Okay, I have one. I have one. My, I would say, you know, there's that saying, if if he wants to, he would, or something. Yeah. I think that's so true. I never thought, because like, you know how, I don't even know if I'm going to say this right, but you know how like girls make excuses for other guys and what they're doing and this oh, they're such busy. A good one. <laughs> yeah, I think if I think that's so true after dating Dell. I wouldn't have said that before. I would have been one of those girls making the excuses, but now mm-hmm. I'm not. You have said that. <laughs> that's the biggest yeah. compliment you're ever gonna get, Derek. That is <laughs> such a good one. Aside from it, me telling you you're a very good looking guy. That's like thank you. <laughs> I mean, you have no idea how big a compliment that is. That is such a good a one, Saf, that I think is going to resonate with a lot of our 97% female audience. <laughs> <laughs> oh, totally. It is. It's painfully simple, but mm-hmm. I, I totally, that resonates with me and I, I, I agree. It's funny because I have been just um, naturally more motivated in this relationship than any other one as well to also listen to maybe in some cases change um like habits that i've formed or whatever because of like i think her saying that you know like if i'm not following through on something or if i've said i would you know said this and then have maybe acted slightly different which is just how we all are you know like we we yes to every i think most most Mm -hmm. of us i shouldn't say not everybody like yes to things and then we like oh you know like Maybe I said yes to that and I like hanging your curtains and then I like didn't do it. And now I know the importance of it. That was another issue at the beginning of our relationship. (laughs) I kept promising that I would like do that. But then, you know, once she said that it was like a a problem or or something, I was more motivated than in any other situation, like by a significant amount to be like, oh, I'm not going to let this ever become a thing. And I'm going to, you know like do what I need to make sure that she knows um, that like I heard her and that that matters mm-hmm. to me that I don't want to like continue to have that, that argument or conversation because it was, a, it was astute that she said that and I should, you know, like, I definitely agree with that. I hope, yeah. Why did I do well, that? Well, that's the best part. First of all, Derek, I'm you in our relationship. Like Andy, everything he says he'll do, he does. Whether or not he's reminded, like he just does. And for me, I'm like, hey, I'll do that. And then I kind of forget about it or I get distracted or whatever. Mm-hmm. But like you, I have felt inspired. And it's not like you ever, you know, made me feel bad. I think one time you were just like, oh, you said you would do that. You should do it. I do remember that time. Yeah, it stood out to me. <laughs> and it, <laughs> he didn't guilt trip me, but it was sort of like he just shone a mirror are you going to okay, comment on that? Here my- we go with a Sean. <laughs> You're from the UK and you, you can appreciate this because you speak the actual English language. <laughs> 
<laughs> How do you say the past tense of something shown? Of shine. No, no, the past no, tense of the shine. Past tense of, of shine. Sh- yeah. Sorry. I, of like shining. Correct. Yeah, yeah like, like the something, sun. Something. The dinched. sun shone on. Oh, wow. The She's, sun shone on this. She said it the same way, Andy. I would have said I would have said what you did, though. I would have said shown. I could be completely wrong. If <laughs> I'm wrong, this is going to be. You know what's funny, though? Wait, we actually looked up. A word the other day. No, wait a minute. Hold on a second. <laughs> she said it the way. No, she said the shone. sun shone on. Wait, say it one more time. The sun shone on this field. So it's She's like not sh- saying like, shone. Like the, say that. Say a man whose name is S E A N. Sean. And say the word that we're talking about. The sun shone. Sean. Sean. Oh, they're. They're different, but yeah, similar. They're different. <laughs> so there's okay. a third opinion now. <laughs> yeah. She's like right in between where she is and the, cor- the correct way of saying Well, it. where I'm from, okay. where I'm from, we say shot. And okay. uh, what I'm doing is giving you a compliment. So just so your friend, it. Sean, what happened? No, Go what, ahead, I'm sa- <laughs> what I'm saying, <laughs> all I'm saying is that you sort of Oh my god! I just realized that it's not even the right verb. Yeah, go go with another one. So <laughs> we can we can segue away from. Okay, I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna make hurdle. it work. You. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let's hurdle the Sean conversation. You Sean a light on this thing about myself that I didn't like, and that maybe mm. I never, no one ever made me realize about myself, and. To what you're saying, Derek, like ultimately it makes us better people. So it's kind of just like this, it's two for one, you know? Mm -hmm. And and it comes back to to what I strongly believe in. When you find the right woman, she's always right. Mm. Uh. She's always right. (laughs) I know what you mean. I agree with that. Even when she's wrong. (laughs) I have been much more flexible than ever before. And I I am very hard-headed. I mean, you guys know I can be very hard-headed. But more than ever, like way more flexible, and and I think just like um, seeing a different point of view than than I, you know, than oh, just I'm so right. Nice. All right, it is time for the Dear Shandy Newlyweds game. Yay! Yay! You go. <laughs> <laughs> you guys were very cute doing these. Saf, you, yeah. you wrote your answers on Derek's back, which I found adorable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just firm, a tool. Firm. Yeah. Yep. Okay. A tool. So the just so you know, the highest score ever gotten in the Dear Shandy Newlyweds game is four out of five. This is not an easy game. And I actually that think we like gave you lot. guys. I think, I think we got that. Oh, do you? I don't think we would. Ooh, confidence. I don't, I don't feel. I don't. I don't feel it. You don't feel that confident. I'm thinking of like <laughs> at most two. Oh, do you want to start predicting what we think they'll get? I'm gonna say that Dara gets two. She gets one. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say I get about. I didn't five. even. I didn't even. Uh, oh. No, I okay, we'll see that. if you're right about that. Okay, question number one, and Saf, we will start with you. If you could only listen to one musician, band, or composer for the rest of your life, who would it be? Okay, I've written this, but I don't even think this is right about myself. Oh, no. <laughs> I just put Ed Sheeran. Oh, okay. that is such a british answer i I have heard you actually say that to me before derek what did you say for for saf what did you think saf would say for saf i said oh you said (laughs) because she did she did say that to me once okay okay brilliant (laughs) very nice very impressive very nice derek what was gonna say that (laughs) just like (laughs) <laughs> fell one notch deeper into in love <laughs> <laughs> okay Derek what would you listen to I don't or- I know she's not gonna get it. I said Foo Fighters because there's like a oh. there's like a pullback to you know youthfulness nostalgia anyway okay, okay. Saf what did you think Derek would say I said country <laughs> <laughs> she picked a whole I mean that's not wrong if I could pick a whole genre <laughs> That is what I listen to, like, in the car all the time. <laughs> what just, music do you think music. Derek would like? Music. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, you okay. lose. Okay, Sav, I'm sorry to say you did not get that po- point. Derek, definitely you won that round. Uh, question oh. number two, Saf. If you were stranded on a desert island and could only take three things, what would they be? And show uh. the camera. 
<laughs> I think I would just give up. And, <laughs> and I said, I just wanted alcohol. So I put specifically three cosmopolitans. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think, think you're going to need a gonna lot. Die at this you're going to need a lot more than three to put yourself out of your misery. But, yeah, uh, that's an amusing, amusing it answer. Good. It yeah. Good. Okay, Derek, she she really sabotaged <laughs> you there. My, my, I mean, kind yeah. of actually not exactly. So I said, <laughs> I I thought that that's her mindset is you know what <laughs> it's over for me. So I put uh, sunglasses, a Cosmo, and sunscreen. <laughs> Oh, wow. my God. That's Derek. Oh, I just, I just so envisioning her, friends. like, laying back, drinking to her, toasting to her. I'm just ready to die. To, my the, to the end. Just accepting it. Wow. Yeah, I, I'm really impressed with Derek right now. Yeah, that's... Yeah, Same. I, I, I come <laughs> okay, Derek, what mm -hmm. are the three things you would bring? So I put... Uh, I mean, just... I don't know. I just made it up quick. So I put fire starter... Which That's I smart. guess is like, I don't know what that, not matches because those get wet, right? So <laughs> a knife and a water bottle. Wow, very, so practical. Yes. Yeah, very, very practical. practical. Yeah, I mean, that's <laughs> smart. Saffling. Those are great. <laughs> one, one, one water bottle, that's good. That's I good. said matches. <laughs> I mean, what did I, she so say? I said practical things. So I said a knife, matches, and something else like a flashlight. <laughs> Oh, so you did, okay. you got a point. You got, wow, she did. Yes, very good. Mm. See, I said flashlight. <laughs> I mean, you picked two, really. She got matches, matches and, and a knife. Kind of, yeah, that's, yeah. that's good enough. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah, match, yeah. We're not going to be like. I think we How are you guys going to score that, that one? You she, each I got think one I get point. a point. I mean, oh, I think what? Derek should get more than, she should get like an, ex, like an accentuated point. I, I Wait, who should get I think it's unfair that Derek gets only one point for that. I don't know. I thought you got you guys How many did I get? each. You each got one point. Okay, you got stop one overthinking point. this. I just think each Derek. Derek, I give you extra points. Yeah. You did, you did more. <laughs> oh, thank you, Andy. Andy's Andy. 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 particularly because not only did he okay. get the, we would have given it to you if you'd said booze, but you yeah. said Cosmo. Yeah, it's very. Impressive. That's her. Oh, that's that, like on our first date. That was like what she got. That's her. And drink. That's, her that's like her. Yeah, her drink. Mm -hmm. It was a Cosmo. Okay, question number three. Saf, when you were a child, what did you want to be when you grew up? I said, I said a Barbie princess. <laughs> oh, that's right. You had so many Barbies. <laughs> did, yeah. That's a very honest answer. Yeah. That's very sweet. You... That's, that's so sweet. I said a dancer question mark. Cause she, okay. like, I know she, she like, I did. To be fair, I did do dogs. Yeah, you did. And that you, was like, a practical answer. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That was okay. a tough one. Oh, I, I would give. How many Barbies that. did you have? Two hundred and seven. <laughs> what? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. So I was really ill when I was younger, and then people were just constantly buying me Barbies, and I loved it, and I had so many. I had every wow. single Barbie out there. Yeah. Wow. She had leukemia, so she was like. Oh my god! For, for it wasn't like a brief sickness, you know. Yeah, it was like four yeah. years. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Mm. I did not know that. <laughs> and it's so silver lining. Yeah. 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 There we go. You got all my yeah, Derek should have gotten that one. <laughs> I should have. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Derek. When you were a child, what did you want to be when you grew up? Um, I said a basketball player. Ah, that's a basketball player. Six, six. What are you? Six two. Yeah, six two. Saf, what did you say? I am so Keep wrong. <laughs> My dad's a basketball coach. I said Firefighter? Astro I said astronaut, but I don't know how to spell it. Oh, I mean, that's not a bad guess. <laughs> did you ever tell me what to be an astronaut? I don't think so. Don't wait, wait. Know. I want to see that spelling again. It so, is. So that's it's it's oh, yeah. <laughs> She took it and I had to spell it. It ends with not like. Oh, not. Like, yeah, not. <laughs> she spelled not unto itself correctly. That's pretty good stuff. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That was like, you, oh, man, you overthought that. How do you yeah. spell it? I think it's N-A-U-T. I don't know, actually. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it, it no is. points there. It's still 2-1 for yeah. Derek. Ah. Question number four. Saf, what is your weirdest quirk? Um, okay, I would say... I opened I'll just show us the card. <laughs> oh, sorry. Wait, I've got, I've got Derek on here as well. I was running out of papers. Okay. There we go. 
which is Wait, what? what? I don't so, understand. Oh, I just put toothpaste, but I'll explain my point because I, <laughs> I, I, I squeeze the toothpaste from the middle, right? Yeah. Oh, and- I forgot about this. I didn't put this down. That's that's <laughs> not that's not a, a weird. Th- that's that's a crime. That's actually oh. a crime. <laughs> that is. Yeah, it's a felony. It's a felony. Oh, I have she never squeezed- spent one second of my you life. You squeeze the toothpaste from the middle too, constantly. I- <laughs> I didn't, I didn't know I did this. Have women you brought it up to Women her? do this. No, yeah. because every woman I've ever been with squeezes the goddamn toothpaste from the middle. <laughs> from the middle. Yeah. You only squeeze it from the end you when you You squeeze it from the to. end. No, only what when you What psychopath to. squeezes a toothpaste in the middle? That, that Basically, it takes all the toothpaste to the bottom where you then have to again push oh, it no, up to the so It's a, con- would, a constant battle instead of a, a slow yeah. procession. <laughs> Exactly. No. I would argue <laughs> all men understand this. I would argue it's more satisfying to first use up the middle, and then you have a whole other oh, roll coming from the back. <laughs> I <laughs> agree that, wholeheartedly. Yeah, that's Thank assuming you, that you then start to go from the bottom, but you'll go from the middle again once the bottom comes up. <laughs> oh man, you, you always go from. The I've middle. never thought about yeah, this. It's, so it's I can't. something I've thought about. I've given up on it. I gave up on it a decade ago. It was every girl oh. I date goes right in the middle that is such a, a random thing. one it's wow crazy. okay so saf that that was a good one yeah it's good uh, i think because Derek. i i think i know that's one that i noticed more because we've like bounced back and forth to each other's places and so i can always tell if i've been by myself like when saffron has been in new york <laughs> for a couple of months and then she comes here the minute that she gets here, I'm like, oh, the toothpaste. <laughs> you know, so it's true. it's something that I, rem- I notice again. Versus if it was like every day, I think I would have. Get, I think I. Oh just, yeah. Would have no, it now, but it, and it's the, it's not oh. limited to toothpaste. Every cream I have is is if you've been at it, it's in the middle. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you left your yeah. mark. He's so funny. That Ointments, he's- creams, lotions—they're all. You right know, in I the have middle. an actual device that you tack the back of it into and then you roll it and then it just gets all you have that yeah why don't you use and, it and that's why like, I don't feel the need okay. <laughs> we're gonna move on <laughs> Derek uh, Derek what is your weirdest quirk uh oh wait I didn't oh, give oh wait sorry give me a sorry, sorry. My, mine for Saffron was her sassy hands oh, oh what? Yeah. when well, she starts sassy. trying to make points she like does this oh, to oh, me? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good answer. But, good answer. But, yeah. Just wrong. But not, wrong. not correct. Okay. Okay, Derek, what is your weirdest quirk? Okay, mine is so I have back problems. <laughs> I actually have like, I have uh, some fractures uh, fractured in my uh, my lower spine one time. So I have like one of those hang upside down things. <laughs> oh. Have we yeah. ever talked we have about this? One too. Derek, we have one in our apartment. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, so it's not that weird, weird <laughs> is what you're telling me. No, it is weird. You're it's the only awesome. other person we've ever met. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Well, yeah, so I, I do that often. I yeah. sh- should do it every day, but I don't. Like a bat. Yeah. It's yeah, good. that's a big, <laughs> yeah. it's very good. I sleep <laughs> upside down, in fact. Uh, <laughs> like, <laughs> I just find it more refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay Saf. I said, okay, I said pillows, oh. but again, I will explain my point because it wasn't that clear. <laughs> we like cuddle in bed before we go to sleep, but Derek's like sh- bigger than me. His shoulders are bigger. So like it's when we're good. like spooning, he'll have a <laughs> pillow on top of me and spoon <laughs> me and the pillow <laughs> at once. That's so true. it's a whole thing <laughs> in his arms. So he secretly wants you to be bigger. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> or a pillow. That's that's a cute one. No points gotten there, but that was, oh. I liked your mm, answer. Right. You're coming very close to my prediction. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay, Andy's now hoping you neither of you get points because yeah. then he'll have been right. Okay, so Saf, what is one thing your partner wears that you just can't stand? Okay, I put leather jackets, oh. swimming shorts, oh. and logo tees. 
Mm. Oh my god! Oh, I you love gave me a lot. Those are good. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to the Vogue model to know exactly the wrong things a man wears. I told you this was mm. a good. And yeah. he didn't like this question. I was like, no, it's this a good, is question. A good question because she knows. She yeah, knows what she says is correct. <laughs> yeah. Stop doing yeah. the things she says. Those all are as well as my answer, which is <laughs> oh my that's a different one. I said workout shorts. So <laughs> when I wear compression I shorts. Think that's true. <laughs> oh, I changed my answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't do that. Derek, you did not get that point. Oh, that no. was a good one, though. Mm-hmm. I should have said that. She hates these workout shorts that I wear. I do. All the time. <laughs> and also all the other stuff she said. <laughs> and yeah. also those, yeah. <laughs> all right, Derek, what is one thing Saf wears that you just can't stand? My sweatshirts. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's I, like a that every man has to accept the fact that the woman's going to wear all his sweatshirts. All right, cash. I said yeah, puffy yeah. jackets. Oh, that because you, you don't wear like them. when they're too yeah, big. Yeah, yeah. Show the yeah. camera, Saf. Just so oh. we have it. Okay, okay. Puffy jackets. Okay, no points there. Oh my god. Okay, so two one, Derek. Oh, he was right. Yeah. <laughs> you won the Dear Shandy Newlyweds game, With and the Andy first two. is. <laughs> yeah. Andy's the real winner here. <laughs> yeah, God, you turned yourself into the winner. You yeah. made this about what you. What was the so money much. line on that, you think? That's such a you thing to think about. Right? <laughs> yeah. um, this was really fun, you guys. It was like a double yeah, date. Thanks for having yeah. Us. yeah. I mean, it's fun. nice. It, it's it's funny because like we know you guys in so well and like you were part of the story. So it's almost, it's like harder at first to know how to tell you but you're not really telling you because you already know <laughs> we were telling like yeah. the, the grander. Yeah, exactly. And we don't know. We knew almost none of these details. There were a lot of little nuggets that the two of you had. So thank you so much for coming on. And well, thanks, we guys. promise we will not lord uh, the two of you having met through us forever over <laughs> you. <laughs> I find that hard yeah. to believe. <laughs> 10 years, 10, 10 more years, 20 times. Yeah, yeah. We're just go. really excited. <laughs> Taking lots of credit. Take what we get. Thank you guys for, for joining us. And, and we, you are free now. We will, we will set you free. Woo. Yay. <laughs> no, thanks for having us guys. Thank you. We'll see you. We'll see you thanks in person very soon. Perfect. Thank you. Bye guys. Bye. Oh, <laughs> oh that was fun. They were great. That was like the most uh, double datey, I think, that we've gotten. It was a little too intimate. Well, did we just, you know, we actually, we're, we're like, we know yeah, them. We know them very Yeah, well. that was, and well, we, 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 know, we know them. other couples too. We, like yeah, no, but we just saw them recently. Yeah, yeah. I feel, I believe in them. I give them the, the, the Andy <laughs> seal of approval. Andy? You're just Andy now? Well, it's Shandy. Yes. It's not Shandrew. Yeah, but it's the Shandy stamp of, stamp of approval. Yeah, but I have a different stamp than you. Oh, you're suggesting that I might not stamp approval of You're that? right. It is Shandy. Okay. I give them the Shandy <laughs> stamp of approval. Yes. We approve. <laughs> Can you imagine if a couple came on, talked with us for an yeah. hour, and like, we were they like... They suck. <laughs> not going to make it. Yeah. Six more weeks tops. But they are particularly lovely. Yeah. They're, they're going to do good. They're very do uh, down to earth and unassuming and cool. Love at first sight. Love at first sight. They're, they are our true, like... Um, Love at first sight couple? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm tired. <laughs> but yes, they are. Because I don't think we have another couple that was quite no. like that. I got to be honest. If I, you know, play it for the other team, I, I think I might find Derek a uh, love at first sight candidate. Yeah. Well, to be fair, I think a lot of people might have thought of Derek as their love at first sight candidate. Same mm-hmm. with Saf. <laughs> I guess what's funny is I feel like lots of people have looked at each of them and been like, love it first That's sight. true, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they found each other. All right, I think that's that's it. I think we can wrap there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this episode of Dear Shandy. If you like Dear Shandy, you can like, subscribe, leave iTunes reviews, uh, comment, follow. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. And yes. And enemies. And enemies. And without further ado, we will wrap this love fest. Thanks for tuning in, guys. And we'll see you next time on Dear Shandy. Bye.